We got raiders in Samarkand, but that's not the story. The story is, down in Persia, a war rages on. No, not this one either. It's a front line that stretches from Kurdistan to Khuzestan. This is a still ongoing Sunni Jihad for Persia, which has been ongoing for three years and six months now. The enemy is winning by occupation because they took one of the holdings, which the retinue is on their way to take it back, which is in Kurdistan. I mean, no doubt they're going to be suffering more of this, and it doesn't help. Well, actually, it does help because uh, there's enough room for them. As long as it's not winter, but it's in the middle of the spring, so you're fine. Of course, you'll pay a lot. But also, not only we're dealing with multitude of enemies, we're also dealing with disease in the front line. In which that disease originated from um, Kastamon. In which there was a disease that did originate from a. Well, it did originate from Kastamon. What I was trying to say is that it stretched from, from Anatolia to Bulgaria and then down to Persia and then even into Baghdad. But now we have a new problem. They found a back door to, uh, not to Persia through the Strait of Hormuz. There's an army over there. Currently besieging now, and and no doubt they will take it. As we are still continuing the ongoing uh, Basra offensive, just take all the holdings of Basra, and my plan is is to withdraw back to Golzistan to reinforce. The retinue will do all the fighting, including to get rid of these guys out of there since. It's in desert, so it should be fine. A lot of holdings, too. Wait a minute. Is this right? I did not know Hormuz is, uh, is the headquarters of the Bektashi Order, which is a Sunni uh, holy order, but they're not involved in a jihad. He's got all of these. So Abu Musa is the headquarters of the Vectashore. They do have um, other holdings. Oh, there's another down there. Where else are they also stationed? In, in Sinai and in Tuluk. Those are the areas um, where the Kearney hold. Yeah. The holy order that's joinable for Muslims, Sunni Muslims in particular, if you want to be more correct. Yeah, we cannot deal with them, but then again, they're not involved. But it kind of interests me that, uh, that the Arabian Empire is still not yet involved in the defense pact against us, even though we've been taking gains away from them. So besides taking holdings, and retaking holdings is one other part of the strategy. We have another one. Look for areas that are very prone for a possible revolt in the Empire. I'm thinking there. That's where the... Uh, Heretic stronghold still remains, but it's not going to be around for long. And there is a Horufi heresy as well, which is a Shia heresy. Incompetent ruler, that's one, and heretic stronghold on the other. I will send my spy master over there to sabotage that province, and hopefully, one of those things he'll sabotage is, um, uh, is, um, Increase the revolt risk, so that way a, a revolt is more than likely to break out, particularly a Harufi uprising. And it's going to force the Arabian troops to withdraw and to delay their offensive moves against us.
whatever that's going to relieve pressure on us. And while we, you know, take holdings, and that means we'd also take a bit of money, and speaking of money... Vanishing you for that. There's plenty of prisoners we captured recently. All of which would be up for ransom. And what to do with that money? Improved defenses. Almost non-existent. What is the matter of you lot? 260 days. As long as we keep them busy for about a year, these uh, defenses will be built. Oh, this arc is more defensible than this one. Just spend that too. Don't forget these areas for Kurdistan and uh, Shoras the Wool. Okay, that's defensible enough. But again, severe depopulation, so reinforcement rate will, won't matter. And they also often go over there. And that's already defensible as it is. Now you gotta deal with the back door. Which is already defensible enough, but we can increase it up a bit more. Which I'm afraid uh, we can't send them over there because that's applied to the domain, not for other counties. So we're just doing whatever we can. And also, I'm still antagonizing the, uh, the Badshah. The, uh, Badshah this man. Which were already rivals, but I cannot challenge it to a duel. Oh, and he's a no demon worshipper. So everybody dislikes him. But the real question is, who's the faction leader of whatever kind? Faction leader, independence. Get from down there. Depraved manipulator, known demon worshipper, scandalous rumors, which I did that by antagonizing and have very high intrigue. It's only a matter of time before we have to beat these guys in another big battle one more time. And then a war for independence. We don't know how big it is, but or any kind of revolt, even if it's a claimant. Anything that'll get them off our backs. When you'll arrive. It'll arrive in May. Yes, May 17th. Took another holding. Because we'll be taking a few more. We're in Shiraz now. Yeah, they're in their ways. Oh, don't worry about that yet. Let's retake Kurdistan. We can assault it. There you go, your retinue. So it's easy. Whatever is the fastest way, even if you have to get through diseased territory. And if any of you get sick, I'm sorry. We'll be saving up our money to find more, uh, Great commanders, even if I have to buy favor from, from them. Especially those two holy, holy warriors that I have. You don't want to get troops moving, right? Hold these off. I need those two. They're very important to me. Oh, now there's a new disease. That's camp fever. It came from Kuwait and it just started. Shoot. Uh, get me out of here. Just two more Willius and then we got it. This is another killer disease. It's spread into Kozistan, and soon it'll be spreading into areas where there's already slow fever there. Mm 
<laughs> and ironically, this makes the Kurdistan region, the satrapy of Kurdistan, the healthiest, but least populated right now. That's some sick irony right there. All right, heading to Basra. You will engage them soon. It's just a small number. Oh, what the hell's happened? That low of population? Just try to get the friendly line as soon as possible. We'll bring up the holy wars in a moment. Okay. You still got your numbers. That's half of what the retinue had initially. Bring in the Norseman and the uh, Holy Warrior. By the way, he wears a wolf pelt now. That means he's a hero of his warrior lodge. The wolf warriors, to be exact. Oh, they bypass Kurdistan and they decide to go for this area. Found our route. Just finish taking two more holdings, then we'll go up there. I guess we ought to start investing in that one, too. And that's the last time. They left Hormuz. Where are they going? Ah, tyranny war. So one of their allies is now out of the war for the time being. It's because of this man. Inside of Arabia proper. So if you want to be exact, who's revolting who? That's rebel territory. Some of that rebel territory. Yeah, that'll get him off her back, so just relieving a little bit of pressure. Now we're just trying to further incite him, like just beat his army one more time, and maybe this will give the other vassals of theirs a chance to start a wide, imperial-wide civil war, is what we're hoping. Sack of grain, just fell. Make a bit of that money. All its mountains, and it's a mixed army. Sending our retinue up there just to get ahead of time. Stay back, we need you. More will be pouring in. Unfortunately, it's mounds. I don't suppose there's any able-bodied man who isn't a ruler within a range that somebody is a mountain man mountain two three mountain experts interestingly they're all from India um, for mountain experts except for the Norsemen I don't know why it says mount I mean that's not your name Knife of the mountains, I see. I get you. So, one is the Marshal of the Bulls of Rif Shabha, which, oddly enough, he's a Hindu and not a Jain. Well, this one's Jain. But the other guy, unfortunately, is a Marshal and an imbecile. But these are two low skilled. 
And we can't get this man in because he's their marshal. So it's out of the question. And too bad none of the Boone Pagans have, um, you know, what they call Mountain Guardian. Yeah, heroes like them. We're about to lose our Zoroastrian ally up there. Oh, things have just got a little difficult. trade post. Help them out on the siege while we try to get them for snow over there. Now they've shifted the front lines towards Kurdistan because we were wrapping up on the, uh, the offensive. We can speed it up a bit. Look at us. Oh. Is uh, Nana still alive? You might be contracted with a disease and you might not live after this war, so I just need you to bring down this holding fast. Looks like they got some fresh troops that they're reinforcing with now. Nana has died, but it's a natural death. It was only a matter of time. The Elder Shield Maiden has passed. Um, so we salute you. Salute to the homeland. We have a war to win now. So who's our replacement? Xenobius, you're still around now. Huh? We'll put you to work. And don't catch that disease. Okay, that's a little too much room. We can assault that right now. Do not forget to ransom everybody else. Now we're going to have to go up and kick these enemies out of there. And continue with your course to that region. Although there's a bit of a river there. Okay, what's the safest? I mean, not through Lurisan, not through Hamadan. Kurdistan. Okay, of course. Kurdistan. You have to get through diseased country, obviously. So is everyone else. You did well. You know, it's risky because we have to get them off the mountains. Anakit has the gout. That's my eldest daughter. No. Technically, she's the oldest, but that's a bastard child. But that was legitimate, yes. Gonna be 15, and um, based on those traits, one would think is, oh yeah, she'll be a devout Zoroastrian in her life. But my son is 10 and a genius. <sighs> They've taken a hold in. Again, we can't win this war until we get rid of all these guys and... But remember, taking enemy territory does not contribute to the war score. This is a defensive war. 
We only did the Bowser and Offensive as a way of trying to slow them down and when they come back and retake those territories. The real way to win is either win significant battles and, uh, and make sure not a single holding is occupied by the enemy. This is getting out of hand. Now there's two of them. There's two diseases now. Typhus and typhoid fever. Sylvia or Gambiva. Not good. Oh boy. The Kozistan front is full of disease now. You could still put large armies in there, but you are willing to risk it. But the slow fear will soon fade away. At least on this front. Al Sukna and the Abbasid Amiri that has the most troops. These are mostly infantry. We're willing to risk it. To your usual positions. And we need our very best cavalry man available. That's him. He's the stampede leader. Yeah, we we'll just have to slow down the rate at when they're coming in. This uh, area isn't big enough for two of us. Oh, and watch out, Sheikh Sadiq is there. He's their best commander. He knows how to defend the mountains well. Sometimes I wish I would get rid of that man. That man is a capable fighter. And he's a member of the Mephlevis. That is a monastic society of sorts. A Sufi school, if you will. He is a religious man in addition to being a warrior. We could be in for real strife here. I need to be there. And get there faster. And, uh, you, you know what, you can come too. They're reinforcing, so are we. It's winter now. This is for my end. I'll deal with myself. Huh. So he did well in the duel. You didn't kill him. But you sure put a hurt on him. You gave him a concussion. How chivalrous of you. going. Mazdaki revolt. Okay, see the war score difference? As long as Persia is under our control without any holdings fallen to the enemy, if we can drag this war on, then we will win. It's 36% now, so all we need is win a few more battles. Especially against the Abbasid Amiri, the ones who started this um, issue. As the camp fever is now spreading up here. This is a very deadly war. 
And I'm sure they'll soon retake all the holdings, which again, we're trying to stall them so we can build the defenses. Now, resign. So nobody can catch a disease right now. The real question is, so... Um, hell. We need to split. We need to trim this army a bit. You stay right there. Get those troops moving fast so none of us can take a hit. Of course, I still got this to do. Whatever gets me a little bit of glory. Every little bit helps. Oh yes, I forgot to train you. That would give me a little bit of glory, if any. Sure, the difference of disease that affects the supply limit of things. But don't worry, the disease of the areas of northern Persia will soon be cleared out. What the hell are you doing here? Killing our retinue just for being up there in Kurdistan. It's snowing up there. Almost nothing will remain now. Yeah, we'll just wait for their next move. Till then, get down to Lotus Stone. And if you can, you might as well go to um, Avaz. Just stay in friendly territory and we'll be reinforced. Now he's a lunatic because you know he's possessed. Now he's led to lunacy as he's a no demon worshiper. I'm surprised um, Sunni Muslim vigilantes have not stopped him. And if he keeps it up like that, he's going to be more and more decadent. So I will stop antagonizing for a few years, unfortunately. Should it have not used those words? Stay there. Reinforce yourselves while well, we will get to our mountainous positions as we continue to drag this war on until they realize Punjabi Tengri conquest for Kashmir. Where do you come from? Chief of Shok. Didn't know that's independent Tengri. And Kashmir is technically not part of the Turan Empire. If you're going to take it, then take it. But. Last. Adventurers are a dangerous lot. It's going to take a lot more than that, so. Unfortunately, we'll have to ignore this conflict. Here is more significant.
Let's go up here. Link up together and get them out of here, even though this is a bad place to be supplied. But what can you do? They're up there. They're taking a piece of territory. I should have not sent them over there. Highway robber band. Get back up here. Hell. We're losing troops due to this lack of supplies more than the enemy. That infuriates me. More and more troops are pouring in and we have to get rid of them. What you do? Oh yeah, I put you over there. It's sat at unrest. Excellent! Uh, now Bryza could go off at any time now. Now they have consumption. Or has that always been there? Good, he incited unrest in that region. Brophy revolt may come up. A new heretic stronghold for the Zikri faith. We got a new place for you to go. To Bostra. Be careful with disease there. Yeah, it's relatively new. So. Zikri uprise could happen anytime soon now. Seems they've got more uh, mercenaries. And he has the money to maintain them. But we have to get them off the mountain now. And we have to bring an organizer because that's for the uh, supply limit. Only logical choice. We got more coming. There's my rival over there. <laughs> Although capturing him would not be the end of the war. He's not the one that started this from this. Vent. Calvary is coming. He's one of their better ones. Since he's a bit over that delay limit, execute him. Well, actually, he's going to die anyway. Because he's sick with the camp fever. What's he got there? Don't we already have a sculpture like that in our treasury? Yes. It's a difference in dynasty name. Or I could take one of those books. But the vassals would be displeased. I think they like me well enough. Somewhat. Except for this man who's a title claimant, ambitious. No, no, no. This is rumors and a week later. Is he a member of a faction? Increased council power. Let him die of the disease anyway, so that his land will go to him and he'll be over the domain limit. And he'll figure out what to do with that at a later time. 
we stop them from coming over there. Now we have the advantage. You're a problem. I'm pathetic. And get the hell out of this province. Yeah, they're starting to retake holdings now. Well, that's actually part of the rebellion. Oh, wait a second. That's a big one. Tyranny. Finally, the, the Imperials are going to get them off our backs. This is what we're waiting for. Him being a demon worshipper and he had a secluded in courtiers, that's when, the, that's when he realizes enough is enough. And if he loses that revolt, he will abdicate to his uh, son here. So now the now the rebellion has happened. Even though there might be more uprisings, religious uprisings, none of this. Exotic again. He's always there. We're still losing troops because of the supply limit. Kurdistan is just not the place to be. But do build up defenses while we will. Uh, Oh, we get a few more out of them. As long as it keeps the enemy busy, the war score will go up slowly but surely. So we're in a good place now. We're in a good position, we should say. For everybody to be reinforced. But as for the Kashmir conflict, yeah, they're going to have to take it. It's just one single county, we can get it back, if we want to. And maybe help them with the uh, revolt of theirs. So now Camp Fever has replaced the, uh, the, the Slow Fever. What the hell are you doing? You're going to get people sick here. You've already gotten one sick. Don't get yourself sick. Makes you want to come down the mountain and just hurt them and... And then they lose their position and eventually get killed by vigilantes. That's what I could say now. But they don't have enough troops. Sorry, what, a couple of months if you are fully reinforced? Maybe you should descend from the mountains and attack them. <laughs> Aid the rebels, inadvertently. We can raise another army if we want to. Back to usual positions. Yeah. 
Well, damn, I didn't know you were wounded. She was one of our best. We have enough stories, so just give me one. In case if I have to raise another army. Cartographer. He can move the troops fast, but very good at planes from the step. You might as well take his place. But so who do we replace him with? Ah, no need for that yet. It started uh, more than a year ago. Wait, so it's going to take a long time for them to go away. The supply limit is not that great in some of those areas, so they won't send large armies this way. Hormuz is safe. As long as they don't go anywhere near Kozistan or Kurdistan, it seems Kurdistan has become the main front line now. But this is much better supplied, so stay here. The Arabian loyalist hasn't taken all those hauntings yet, which will give us a bit of time before we decide to Attack them from the mountains and put her down. I ought to stop doing that. <laughs> if I was to sway somebody, I mean, I know he's got a problem with me, but maybe I can make him look the other way. If he wants to be on the council, have at it. He's a better one, but what else uh, are you good with? Let me see. Or I can make him a steward. I mean, you can't put the landed character as as the Moban. But I don't think it'll be wise to put a, an advisor on a council. I wouldn't worry about that right now. Okay. No longer on the council and I'm going to have to put that man in. Even if he's going to be malcontent for a while. Alright, I'm gonna give him this position. And then we'll continue to sway him for the time being. Just to keep him quiet. Since I took that, that's very neglected. Castle towns would be nice. Just for more income. And also, we need that dungeon just to keep that revolt risk down. We'll get more money through uh, ransom. And some of it local resources. So, from now on, all is quiet on the Kurdish front. Yeah, they were leaving now. Right, they're gonna go deal with that Mazdaki nonsense. 
But I noticed something as far as succession is concerned. Got a slow fever recently. That's the sister of wife. By the way, until uh, you know when that happens, I'll be sure to marry you to someone. Just anyone, all right? Then hopefully they don't catch disease. Yeah. You'll say no, but not even matrilineal. Yeah, that's all I was trying to do, matrilineal. Too low ranking. Okay, then somebody of a dynasty then. What about that man who's my uh, cousin? Yeah. Because I need you to have a, you know, your family line. We don't want it to fall to another. Because a woman cannot inherit um, Karen. Well, that's going to lead to a bit more problems in the future. And this man who's from that family continues on, but doesn't matter because they do agnatic. Persia has agnatic cognatic. So until she gets her son out, then. Uh, And it will eventually get to Karen. You do not have any claimants toward it. So that claim now is useless. And we cannot let him inherit because Persia and Dalem will go to Karen. As an independent and not join the empire. That's something we'll have to have that settled after the war. Married to the cousin. There's litter and fetters all over the place. When I enter the dining hall, I see huge pelicans standing on the table. When my spy master sees my steamy face, he tries to calm me down, introducing me to the new pelican guard. It bit my sister. Get rid of it. You're going to be one for stewardship. Yeah, him. Don't want her to be educated by a person, otherwise these people are going to be mad at me for that. They are educated in a foreign culture. My husband has camp fever now. Enemy moving in. Secluded himself. Yeah, we'll stop antagonizing him. Aspiring poet now. My husband died of ten feet, which isn't a surprise considering the circumstances of war. At least you're in seclusion, although he may get the disease. I won't let anything happen to you. It's kind of unfortunate that he died without any heirs of his own because he got that disease. So now it's going to be a little bit it's going to take a little longer to get the uh, Shadam into this empire in order to reform the Persian Empire. What you do? Sabotage defenses. That's not what I want you to do. Pelican Guard, what the hell were you thinking?
we need to build up the defenses. The Norseman died of camp fever. Now I have his sword. So there goes one of our holy warriors. And one of the good ones too. Yeah, he's losing the rebellion right now. As long as we keep them off of Persia, we should be alright. It's going to take, like, each month passes. Watch the percentage on the bottom. Each month passes, the war will get closer to the end. See what you got. Well, we will remain in our positions. I am out taking a walk together with Anakin to where um, Ben, uh, Jim Ben, approaches me with concern. According to Chinese law, he's required to get a woman to continue his services more permanently. Marry her, or be banished. Well, she's got the gout. Sure. Let them get married. Have plans for my heir anyhow. Remain in Kurdistan until October. That's when you are to move south. Since it's starting to get populated again. Not a Sunni, so it's fine. Sixty percent now. Dungeon's been built, that means uh, revolts are less likely to occur in my capital. Whatever gives me more diplomacy, just to keep everybody happy over there. Horophy revolt and peasant revolt and bastard. I guess my spy master did all the work. And we'll sacrifice Kashmir while we preserve Persia. <sighs> you lose one, and you keep one. We keep the big one and we'll lose the little. Plus, Kashmir is never a part uh, of the Tehran Empire in a technical sense. Disease is starting to leave now. The, the demon worshippers is... I was about to say, is he dead? No, that's... You're looking at the new um, Kali. Died of consumption. Okay, don't kill the boy. No. Turani Buddhist Revolt. Sindhi. Bakar. Bakar is never part of the Persian Empire, so I could care less if we lose that piece of territory too. Get them off the mountain. 
chase them down if you have to. That reminds me of the intrigue. I need to start spying on people again. Like who? We tried to revoke them earlier, but we never had that chance because of the beginning of the jihad. I'm a poet, I get to have these choices. I will write about his realm. What a sad little man. Don't you worry, we're in the clear again. Glad you have... Yeah, when this disease is over, you just start having a family for yourself and just hope for the best as that blaster revolt continues. Well, that's hard to tell you though. Have peace because you've been doing this about as long as this war. I'll tell them that next year. Peace, guys. So we've lost Kashmira. As you can see, that war score is now at 99%. All is quiet. Nobody's come to Samarkand. That is what I'm hoping for. Once you have a son, then we'll assassinate him. Assassinate everybody in that family. We can't push that claim unless our threat is below 50%. Of course, that would be up against other um, Mazdans. And plus, they don't have a defense pack against us because they chose to ally with us because of the Jihad. Keep that well in mind. Increasing his decadence. Matter of fact, he's about to lose his position right now. He's going to be ousted from power and enter Idris. He's focused on diplomacy. That's the way it's going to be. So uh, this war is about to escalate again. Bring him in alive. For what? Man, look at all these health books. Wish I could take all that from him. That's what's keeping him alive. Despite all that. Oh, I know. Levels. Do I want to duck him or just try to arrest him by normal means? Although there's a lot of people to arrest huh? once this matter is ended. Don't want to move in on it yet. Got all the good glory. It's Saturn unrest. Well done. Well, 
Now you have found out, huh? Hey, would you mind? Hey. I was about to say, um, it's like, well, since you got that man imprisoned, actually, so that's a Marzaban, so he's a landed character, so we can't get him out unless he pays a ransom. If he wasn't landed, then it gives us the option to try to free the prisoner. I guess who? Oh yeah, by the way, you're the first ruler of, of that region. You got a lot of children. <laughs> Jamshid and Hunter, I'll put you in there. You're unproven. Here's another battle to win. And the rebellion's gonna be over soon and more armies are gonna come after us. Get ready for the re-escalation of that conflict. Yep. He died just five days ago. Well, anyways, the war was already over at this point, and then, and then he was assassinated. Assassinated, not by vigilantes, otherwise it would have said died in battle or in a duel or whatnot. That's what happens when you have a de known demon worshipper. You have to face vigilantes as well, in addition to your vassals or rebels. Rebels. Sins of the Father. I applied to that over there. Still a heretic stronghold. It's not an unrest which will last a while. Yeah, they're coming back up soon. Yep. Alright, we're back in the war. Head to Abbas. Get everybody that you know of. Or less than that, since uh, most of our good commanders have are killed by the disease. Or just some that really aged. <laughs> it looks like they're calling for more emirates and sheikdoms to join. Caliph Hussein. Wait a minute, wasn't there a younger... Assassinated. Now he's moved in. That's what I was worried about. The guy who's quick-minded. He's not a member of anybody yet. You'll be positioned in lower stance so you can get between. We'll do most of the fighting. Try to catch up. Because they're on the move. Alright. Kicking them out of there. Not my battle, but... Is he? Ah, gout. Now I'm gonna have to spy on this man. Because I want that copy. There goes my uh, chancellor. 
Hast du was? Last you. Who else wants to be on the council? All too low skilled. So I'll bring my nephew in. He's very good at it. Eighty one percent army destroyed. Then destroy another one, then retreat back to friendly lines. Yeah, plots revealed. First day on the job, and already you are plotting. That we can definitely arrest him for that, but wait until the hostilities end. It all right? And why haven't they finished with the Kashmir business? Where the hell is your army? Lahore. Look, you got what you wanted, you win. Unless we go surrender and give them that, but... <laughs> they haven't enforced their demands because it's not a hundred. I mean, I'm not going to give in to their demands until they reach a hundred percent. So therefore, it'll continue. The decision still stands. And yet another disease has broken out in Persia. It's smallpox. Yeah, we need to end this war immediately. I don't want to get the hell away from here. Don't want to deal with this anymore. Ah, oh, here comes a big one. Deal with them too. now so um, let me see S 16 more months and war is over unless we win another battle 16 more months get back to friendly position remember territory occupying enemy territory doesn't add up to the war score just keep them away from friendly territory So is it populated enough for it to go back? Not Kurdistan. Kurdistan County. What the hell? Oh. Now why'd you do that? That makes no sense. They're already Slavic pagans. And they added religious tension. That, you are, you basically created a peasant revolt possibilities over there. You're supposed to convert, not to make them angry at, at their own gods. Or their ruler, in fact. Let's just hope we have something in common. If not, then I'll understand. Play visit. And nonetheless, after this war, we'll be in very good shape and be ready for another war if we wanted to. Like hell, probably face the Arabian Empire again for another great conquest. Just to show our strength again. They're back again. Mannequin bastards. And since this concerns your territory, I think you can handle that. 
Just for once. Oh. So you may want to take on these guys too. Glad we still have a holy warrior. Plus those are big numbers. Four scores at 100%. So we'll lose that bit of a county, which is alright. Not terribly concerned about that. At full strength, for was at full strength. More vicious rumors about him. I didn't accept it, you're the one that enforced it. And you know, losing that bit of counter also decreases that threat level, I think. Minus seven for their conquest. Sacrificing a bit of land is alright. That's technically not part of the empire that we desire to hold. Castle. 91 now. Get back to position. Yeah, they'll be coming again. It's almost over. And there's a little bit of battle health. <sighs> Lost our other holy warrior. This war has cost us some great men. Great man. You're the other cavalry man, you're in. Don't sh by the way, once we win, we'll be getting quite a bit of war reparation money for this. Come with me for once. We're gonna catch them. Or some of them. There's a Hindu revolt. Hindu. Hindu and Buddhist revolt. <laughs> In the same area. Ninety-five, and boy, we got a lot to sort out. Doesn't appear that that r r disease is too widespread. Risings go down. Well, I'm diligent. In 97 now. Now there's a new colleague. Hussein murdered by Chief Nizam. Must have been a rivalry. What's going on down at Emirate, huh? With that 56% of the decadence, if only they become more decadent. But then again, nobody knows what that boy's going to be like, other than he's going to be a diplomatic type of guy. 
and he's got a lot of peasant revolts. So they're going to be as war weary as we are, but we'll come off much better. Anakin, Buddhist, gone. Now you got to deal with a Hindu revolt. Sister's been slain. I trained that man earlier. Must have been a bounty on her head. Probably had a rival. Yeah, he's an adversary, but he's a Shia Muslim, so it's fine. Night the eight percent. One hundred. So now, after seven years and ten months, the Sunni Jihad of Persia is finally over. Now there's plenty of other issues to deal with, such as um, the Quran shot him of how to get them into the empire, despite the fact that there's a female ruler um, right now, as well as all the other problems up north. So all we gotta do is just make sure that any of these areas <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to worry about those soon. But most importantly, we better start getting rid of him and his family. All of it. And of course, whoever is plotting against me, will arrest them too. These are the people you got to start swaying with. He won't join because he likes Leech too much, but I want him to like me more than him. But there is a master schemer. Much like how I aspire to be one. If we're still spying on him, keep that in mind. So the war is finally over. 648 gold in war reparation. The uh, we'll get a lot of piety. In addition to the prestige. And then... Uh, most importantly, the Sunni moral authority goes down, way down, while our Zoroastrian moral authority will be up. Allah, it seems, does not favor the Muslim faithful. Um, after a string of setbacks and defeats, Caliph Hassan has called off the jihad for Persia against Empress Yena of Turan. Pathetic. And you called me the sword of Allah? rather than the sword of Ahura Mazda, Zurvan, or Maz, Mana, or Zoroaster even. Maybe it's because, um, we taught them so much of us, maybe this is just propaganda. It's like, you could say that Empress Yena is the sword of Zurvan in Zoroastrian eyes. But to the more neutral Shia Muslims who tolerate, you know, the Zoroastrians, I guess, they call her the sword of Allah, the Shia one that beat the Sunni. I would like to say it's complimentary to be naming me as such as for that nickname. So you're stubborn, you're ambitious, which by the way, yeah, it was him that gave him the ambitious trait, so therefore they're rivals now, I understand. Whatever gets him a lot more skill, especially stewardship. I'm excited. Keep it up. I gotta say. Now, there's plenty of other issues to deal with, so. Army, head to Baka. You will stand down for the time being and return over there as fast as you can because we're gonna start making some arrests.
Come on, you got the forces. No one's gonna stop you now to finish off that revolt. No, no reason to do that. We have a... I was about to say a warrant. Well, yes, we'll have that dealt with. But there are others that has issues with me. Like you. You want control of action? Well, he's been released from jail. You can have that back. There. Now, is there anyone in the court that has issues with me? Well, he's an historian, apparently. Huh? No, I think everybody's happy now. Started a vote on War Declaration Committee Law. Okay. I mean, I did ask him for that favor. That was my ask about that nephew glory hound of mine. Everyone's against it. So now we go back to our usual problems. Clearly you got connections. All these uh, favors that he's returning to. We'll have you dealt with some other time. Just for that. And don't get, don't bother getting Kashmira back. Yeah, you're quite a long way. Um, get on moving. I'll, I'll be sure to start spending on money if we can look for some good commanders. And while we're at it, let's arrest him. Good. You're going nowhere. Seems I can never be patient nor diligent. Seems I'm always a lazy one. Got some books. Obviously. He's going to prison. We're going to revoke his title. Which, by the way, I need to get remarried. Somebody with high stewardship, just for domain size. Don't care who you are, you're my new. Oh, yeah. I have so many husbands throughout life. Which tells you something about Yena here. Nobody likes my poetry. It could have been a regular marriage too, but... Oh well. Okay, we're both old people, so I just needed... Slight increase to main size. I want to stick that way till the very end. Charm of my elegant writing. Screw it. You're just a retinue. Everything is fine. Good. 
Faro Volk. Get the hell out of here. And we get to banish you, too. So he's out of here. Well, he went next door. Okay, one more battle and then we'll end the episode. Just to get ahead of time. For future plans. You. You took that one, but he got killed. There goes another good commander of mine, and plus he was a heretic. The Chinese emperor, the new one, likes wealth, but frowns upon tributaries, which is a bit contradictory in and in itself. at peace and fulfilled my ambition to be a paragon of virtue. Raiders. Get back over here. Um, but anyways. Fuck, it doesn't matter. We'll take some of that loss. I mean, we're still in relatively good shape, as it was before the war. So yeah, that was quite an episode for that second part of the Defense of Persia. I highly doubt this will be it, but nonetheless. So, in the next episode, I don't know how much long I have to live, but Darush is expected to be the next great ruler as he's become chaste and kind, which I don't mind. So his birthday will be coming next year, and no matter which one he gets, he's going to be the ruler to bring Sogdiana back to prosperity, which we're talking about locally, not the whole empire, because Persia is still ridden with disease and whatnot. He yes, still is, relatively. And then eventually, we may have to go for another great conquest. In which we have the prestige and the piety to do it. But a real question. But, look, no doubt we have the strength to take them on. Us and the talented commanders. Do not underestimate us. So things will be looking up. But there's a few things we'll mop up first. Which the retinue will have that taken care of. In the next episode. Until then, so long for now.